There's been quite a bit of activity in the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging network project. Let's go ahead and get to what's new. First off, last week they dropped their price at select locations down to 40 cents per kilowatt hour, which is pretty significant. They were in the low 50s, and these sites here were placed into a LinkedIn post indicating they were all going to be 40 cent with what they're calling welcome pricing. Not sure how long that's going to last, but come and get it. Electrons on the cheap, 40 cents. Some news going on. Specifically, there was several reports of announcements for Mercedes-Benz moving their project into Canada as well. Let me get to that very quickly. Electric did, I think, the first article, which got replicated from outlets after they posted their article. I think that's what happened. But it was mentioning the first one will occur in Metro Vancouver and then Toronto in 2026. So Vancouver in 2025, Toronto in 2026. I'm not quite sure specifically the locations. I did scour trying to find any information about a specific location and there was none that I could find. If anyone knows about a specific location, feel free to let me know. The YouTuber Average EV did a site visit video of the new Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging network in Virginia. I'll link that down below in the description. And the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging network got a new homepage. It looks like this now. It looks pretty slick. If this was here before, I don't recall ever seeing it. It evaded my attention. But um, several articles and the map I have seen before, but I don't recall seeing this home page before. And um, so anyway, you can go here and you see the map. You can see coming soon locations as they add them. I don't see anything new coming soon. Uh, so it's the same information that was there previously, but still something new to look forward to. And here is that map. Um, the one in Greensboro and the one up here in the Northeast, we're not sure the specific address. We're kind of speculating on those, but the other ones, we basically know where all these are. Let's go ahead and uh, get into some of the uh, new information that we've seen in construction and openings. There's the Texas Triangle. No changes here as far as openings or prices except for the welcome pricing. I didn't change the pricing column here because it is listed as welcome pricing. And um, I felt as though since we're unsure the duration of that welcome pricing, I wanted to keep the previous pricing as the pricing. And it's just temporar temporarily uh, pricing. The uh, I-5 corridor obviously is something that we're still waiting on. I have not heard anything else. If anyone else have heard anything, feel free to let me know. But as far as I could tell, and on their coming soon map, there's no indication of any of these builds occurring yet. However, in social media and LinkedIn, they did start putting these little infographs for new sites that they opened, specifically Wharton, Texas, 10 charging stalls, open to all, 400 kilowatts. And it says restrooms, complimentary Wi-Fi, pet friendly. Those are all provided via the partner Bucky's, as you could see right there in the background, the Bucky's sign. And this is what it looks like. It's uh, southwest of Houston. And Alpitronic Hyperchargers, a very large transformer. And here's someone getting their electrons. Ennis, Texas. Similarly, another infograph was released into social media. 10 charging stalls, same thing. Add another Bucky's. This is what that one looks like. All chargers stood up in a row and the uh, pet walking area behind it. Add a Bucky's a little bit southeast of Dallas. Denton, Texas has been spotted under permit for a while, but we got information now from a PlugShare user, Mac Stainless, indicating the construction is in progress. Alpitronic units are on site. That is northwest of Dallas-Fort Worth. Terrell, Texas also has now been spotted under construction. This is relatively new. This is east of Dallas on Interstate 20. I've actually stopped at this Bucky's before. There's also a Tesla supercharger. I came posting up, cruising in on 20, uh, going to a business meeting in a rented Tesla from Hertz and use the supercharger there. I'm a sucker for their brisket sandwich. New pictures from New Brunfields, which is northeast of San Antonio. 
still waiting to be commissioned, not open yet. Um, Madisonville, Texas, not open yet, no new pictures. And Caddy, or Katy, Texas, is again, no new pictures, and still not open. Uh, nothing new here in Hillsboro either. Um, assumedly, these chargers are now sitting on pedestals. If I had to guess the construction timeline from other locations, they don't leave things sitting in cardboard boxes very long. At least that's been my experience. And that's the update for this time. Thank you very much for watching.